You know what? This would be perfect. So this is what happens when a tray goes wrong. This one went all wrong. The, 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 the leather, I mean, it's, it held up good, but the, I wasn't happy with the stamp quality. I lost too much resolution, so. Look at this old one. How beautiful that is, man. Like, I think 1920s or 30s. It's really cool. Ugh, it's going to be sharpened. Damn, this thing is dull. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do here. Now it's, it's time for fun. Figure out what the hell I'm doing. So these pieces, these pieces are from the late 1800s. They were, um, they were out of a bookmaking museum in Germany. Um, I connected with the, uh, the gal, she's, a, she's fantastic. And, uh, and uh, they, were, they were looking to sell everything. So I guess her husband passed away and um, I ended up buying most of the most of the pieces the biggest collections and stuff so because I, I just couldn't pass up I mean they're just so killer you just don't find you don't find this quality I mean this quality is just it's unbelievable so I mean they're, they're this is old school engraving in the 1800s I mean that's you know there was no CNC's making these I mean, they're insane. And they were foiling these. These are actually foiling uh, stamps. But I knew that I could use them for emboss, just in straight up embossing. So, pretty wild. This is, this is where it gets, uh, this is where it gets crazy because I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. There's so many choices. Let's do something I haven't done yet. Well, we gotta keep it in. I'll mark these to give myself a, an idea, but I keep it in probably about three quarters of an inch, right around there, because those get curled up. And then, Place that S gear right. Eh. Let's go for that. I gotta cut this even. Yep. I do like this piece. I 
always worry about these things getting man these things they gotta fit in here like a jigsaw let me see where I'm going with this one Press this while I still got my own teeth. This book press is from the 1800s. It's a late 1800s book press. This fucker's about 300 pounds. It is gnarly. <clears throat> That's our foundation. Where did it, see that? These things disappear so easily. I'll put it a little bit deeper. This is like 12 ounce. I almost forgot. I gotta take these edge down, this back edge. Break that edge quick.
boy. All right. So this we're going to need to press both sides. Not perfect, but cool. You don't want to go down too far. You go down too far and those corners will hit. And those corners will emboss and that's not what you want. I'm gonna drive that back side over there. Get these 12 ounce, these 12 ounce leathers, man. They are, they are a bear. Oh, there is no slack on that one. I don't think I've ever done one. Usually they're like eight to eight ounce roughly eight to ten I've never done a 12 that shit's pretty fucking gnarly 12 ounce trays are no joke man all right it's tough to keep track of these things these went here I mean I'm running out of room I got so many of these which is awesome but you know I want to keep them Perfect. We'll actually be able to color this in just a just a bit. Well, I gotta sand it and all that stuff, but Decide what color I'm going to use. Let's do something kind of, kind of wacky. This is how I get when I do leather, man. I just move so fucking fast. So we got so far. 
Pretty cool. What I'm doing here is, uh, it's, I'm using this stuff called edge coat. I mean, sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't because I'll dye it and wax it and it's all coating the edge. You know, because I'll, I'll still wax this. So now I gotta wait that for this to dry. See a little part I gotta hit. Okay, now I need a torch. This is a nice top coat that I'll do on the whole thing. It's a layer of acrylic and it'll deepen the colors. Kind of pop them. To get out all those little fucking air bubbles. Because if you don't, they'll show. See them all disappear? Then, Seal it up. Done. Um, see, I try not to make them overly glossy because if I make them super glossy, which looks cool, but when you go to take pictures, like if you have your stuff and you're gonna take pictures, it just looks like a blown out mirror. It just doesn't, so as odd as, odd as it is, you wanna kinda of give it a dull, like a little bit more of a dull finish, so pictures will actually show up. <laughs> I can still feel it's damp, slightly. See where I taped that up? The nap came up. And this is to lay that nap down. Just like giving your tray a massage. zones here. As great as that machine is it, it, on the tray like this, it, it doesn't, uh, it's tough to get in all the little nooks and crannies that you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. 